Algorand has just bounced off of this key level. Let's take a look at the charts and see where we're headed to next for Algorand. So we can see that Algorand, we spoke yesterday when we looked at the chart, we had the correction down and we said it was going to bounce. I had this green line drawn at 163. Uh, you can see that coincides with the... the um, exponential moving average as well and we got a nice bounce off here if you look at the low when we when it wick down below the ema uh let's take a look at that percentage it is about there we go you can see that's about 19 percent pump up bouncing strongly uh, with decent volume off of the EMA. Now, what we want to see here is we need overall strength in the market. So let's take a quick look at Bitcoin because you'll see a similar pattern here. Bitcoin came down as well. It had a wick down, which is what caused the Algorand wick as well. And we're starting to try build some strength. But you can see that Algorand is delivering more strength than um, Bitcoin itself. It's moving faster, which is what you'd expect from more coins, but it's showing particular strength uh, up here 4%, as you can see, versus uh, other coins which aren't doing as well today. So you can see now we're testing this next resistance level now at 1.79, again drawn in green, and we bounce perfectly off of that. You can see that on the 4-hourly candle. Let's switch to hourly. We can see it a little bit better. You can see we tried to break the ribbon to go bullish on the EMA ribbon here, but we got rejected here at this green level. And if I zoom back out to the daily, you'll be able to see where this, how this green line performs as a resistance level. So you can see here, this resistance level is has bounced it off, but it's not a super strong one. And we should be able to push through with some momentum because the support here at 163 is stronger, in my opinion, than the resistance at 178. So as long as the overall market is heading higher, Algorand should have permission to move forward. And once we get through 179, we do have a few a clear run at least up to 213 for Algorand. Uh, so it's looking good for Algorand on the technical perspective. Obviously, we're still bearish uh, on the four hourly. You can see on the one hourly, we tried to break uh, bullish, came back down. Technically, still not bearish yet until we completely close beneath the EMA ribbon. So hopefully we can get some momentum and cross back up. But let's take a look at the daily. If we zoom out, we can see here that we're still very bullish. OK, so we're not we've just we wick down into the third and fourth ribbon. But in terms of a close, we're still hit. We're still maintaining the second uh, uh, EMA on the ribbon. So that's really positive for us. We wanted to hold this ribbon and bounce off of it. We've got the 179 level here, and then we can head higher to, like I said, 230 and then 255 as an all time high for Algorand. So that's your Algorand update. Let's take a look at a few other coins. Let's look at where we're sitting at on Bitcoin. Again, on the daily, here you can clearly see on Bitcoin, we flip bullish on the daily. A clear close here, a massive wick down below the EMA, and we're miles off of our exponential moving average here so let's take a look at the four hourly chart for bitcoin again well off of the ema ribbon and that means we flip bullish we we want to bounce off of this forty three thousand level we wicked well below it and we wicked well below the next resistance at uh, well support it was supposed to be at 41.65 uh, and now we're hovering in a bit of no man's land. We need to see which way are we going to head. And this is obviously the, the challenging thing here is the macroeconomic situation we're facing um, with all the fear around Evergrande crisis and other things. You've seen it in the stock market as well. It's been hugely volatile. I mean, the S&P and the Dow and the Russell today, they opened up green. They flipped red intraday and now they're back green. By the time I post this, who knows what it's doing, right? And that's the market we're in. And we know crypto is more volatile than equities. So we've got to brace ourselves and be prepared for these kind of movements. Um, but ultimately, Bitcoin's holding 43. It's it's a complicated position, 43, because at 43, it's not you know a super buy the dip, like, yeah, let's load up the boat with it. But at the same time, you just want it to get moving because at 43, it's, not, it's nowhere near its all-time highs at 60. And yet it's not quite the 30s, which we just had. So majority of people have loaded their bags at 30, 35. Do they really want more at 43 and increase their cost bases? That's why people are struggling at the moment. We're just in a bit of no man's land here. Cardano was a strong one today, had a good rally up uh, this morning uh, as I woke up. You could see it rallying up, but then it had a, a weaker uh, four hourly candle here, pushing it back down. So currently sitting at a dollar and 38, uh, which is about 2.7 percent up over the last 24 hours, which is interesting for Cardano. Again, on this four hourly chart, it's bearish. We've, we're below the EMA and we've got to build some momentum to head higher. We've got to get above the two dollar 20 mark before we can talk about higher levels on Cardano. I'm going to mention Dogecoin again because at 21 cents, 
I mean, it would be a cheeky little purchase with Dogecoin B because at the moment it's just had no attention. You know, Elon Musk has stopped tweeting. That we're not in a good market right now. Everyone's scared for even their large cap equities and Bitcoin. Nobody's talking about meme coins right now, right? And uh, Dogecoin's proven itself. It's in the top 10 uh, by market cap. It would be a little cheeky one to put a little bit in there to see, you know, how when things go green, you know, everybody's going to be following it back into Dogecoin. A couple of tweets from Elon Musk and you're off to the races again. So 21 cents, well off its all time highs, which we saw. If you remember, everybody was going crazy for Dogecoin up here at 35 cents. And, you know, people thought it was going uh, to the moon even at that point. If we zoom out a bit further, switch to the daily. You can see the all-time high at seventy-seven cents. So you're, you're, you know, you're, you're well, you're well below a third of the cost right now of the all-time highs. So, you know, it's an interesting one. But again, nothing major in your portfolio. You want to just keep a small bit if you're just taking a speculative uh, risk on Dogecoin, Solana. Let's take a look at Solana. Let's so you can see the absolute tear Solana's been on. I mean, phenomenal. Solana's in a very similar category to Algorand. You can see they've not fully flipped bearish just yet on the daily. They're maintaining the EMA ribbon here, and we're hoping for a good bounce up off here and a higher high on the daily chart. But coming down into the four hourly, you can, similar to Algorand, see that it's flipped bearish, but it's not lost its uh, EMA here. Okay, so that's an interesting point here is can they hold this light blue uh, EMA? and bounce off of that, similar to what we want to see with Algo. So if I just show you the Algo as well, exact same. You couldn't even tell that I switched. Come back down. We just had a little bit more momentum here on Algorand, and it's pushing up. And you know I'm a big fan of all these layer ones. I don't need to keep repeating myself. Algorand, Solana, Luna, Harmony One, Cardano, they're all going to be great, in a great position to compete with Ethereum going forward. So think long term about the narratives, about the storylines which you like, going into uh, another bull market and remind yourself, you know, what kind of coin do you wish you stocked up on? Because uh, right now you're getting quite good pricing. I wouldn't say a, a massive discount, but you're getting good pricing on a lot of your favorite coins, which when Bitcoin was at 60, and some of us will remember that, it was only a couple of months ago. It was only a couple of months ago it was at 60, and then a couple of months ago it was at... Uh, back down at 30 but when bitcoin is on a tear and everything is pumping up ethereum was close to four thousand dollars which coins did you wish you got you know the, the go through your list cardanos the solanas the links the matic dot start building out your portfolio nibble a bit more on it make price points for when you want to enter and uh, start building out those positions because we know what happens when people start firming in everybody wanted to buy uh, solana at uh 200 everybody wanted to buy algo at two dollars fifty 55 cents but so why not buy now at 1.7 right if your conviction's there you'll start nibbling and if it gets any lower then obviously you start buying a bit more heavier uh so there you go guys there's an update on the crypto market and in particular algorand uh looking positive for algorand overall versus the wider market it's shown a, a relative amount of strength uh particularly in this market today i can see algorand cardano uh dot uh, and Theta are the big movers. I've always said for Theta, I've held a bag of Theta for a while now, and it's not had its moment. Theta and VeChain haven't run in a long time, and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if those two started picking up a, a bit of steam the next time Bitcoin and Ethereum starts moving up. There you go, guys. If you find this type of content useful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.